Hello students, today we are going to learn subject RR and our topic is Namdev and the Hungry Dog. In this story, we are going to learn a moral about kindness to animals. First, let me ask you a few questions. First one, do animals also feel happy and sad like us? So the answer is yes, animals also feel happy and sad like us. Second one, how we should treat stray dogs and other animals? So the answer is, we should treat stray dogs and animals with kindness. Third one, do animals deserve to be treated with kindness? So the answer is, yes, animals deserve to be treated with kindness because they also feel pain the way we do. So we must not hurt them. Let me give you some examples how we can be kind towards the animals. So whenever we see any stray animal on the road or on the streets, we should give them something to eat or drink. We should always try to help them because animals cannot speak right so they need a special attention towards them okay so animals are also living beings it means they do have emotions and feelings most of the time what happens people get scared of the dogs or any other animals so what they do they start throwing things at them so we should avoid doing such things and try to be kind with them we should always be kind towards the speechless creations okay so now we understood that what is kindness now let us begin with this story this story is of a namdev and the hungry dog namdev was a saint and he was very poor poet he lived in a little herd and his clothes were torn. He had very less money to buy food and had to go to bed hungry. But Namdev was very happy with his life. He liked going to the temple and most of the time he sing to Lord Krishna who was his favorite god. Then one morning after bathing in the river, Namdev went to the temple. He closed his eyes and began to sing. He must have sung for a long time. And when he finally finished, he saw that the sun was blazing. It was late afternoon and the time for the temple to close. Then Namdev felt very hungry. He was wondering that if there anything to eat at home, then he hurried back to his herd. He went inside it. He opened all the vessels and jars, but all were empty. What do I do now? Namdev cried, because there was no food in the house, and even he don't have money to buy it. So he told to himself that, let me look inside my bag. If I am lucky, I may find a coin or too. And then he started for searching the food in his bag. Then his hands found something hard and round. Oh, I had forgotten these two rotis I got at the temple yesterday. He exclaimed happily. Wrapping the rotis and a spoonful of water that he had, he set off for the river. He left his food under a tree and went to wash his hands and face. As he was walking back from the river, Namdev saw a dog was sniffing his food. He called out, hey, hey, but the dog was quick. It grabbed the rotis and ran away. Namdev picked up the long spoon of butter and chased the dog. Come back, come back, he shouted as he ran after the dog. The dog had not eaten anything for some time and he was too weak to run far. 
he dropped the rotis and fell down some distance away catching up with the dog namdev picked up the rotis and began to spread butter on them you thought i was angry with you didn't you he said to the hungry animal i only wanted to make this hard and dry rotis soft for you that's why i was chasing you with the spoon then namdev spread the butter on the rotis and fed them to the dog so this was the story of namdev and the hungry dog value gems to learn we should be kind to animals do not tease or hurt stray animals when you visit a zoo or a national park do not tease the animals or try to feed them do not disturb animal homes such as honeycombs and nests of birds do not disturb animals when they are eating